Alright, welcome back to the video, y'all guys. Finally, some TV here. So, uh, what we did last episode is that we actually. What we did is that we actually. One second. Oh, another blanket. So what we actually did is that we actually called called Nagisa, which is right which which in fact is is he's trying to lead us to escape the whole thing. So uh let's do this shit. No yeah. I know I said I was gonna do 40 minute time limit, but but I decided to change it to 45 minutes. Like I went a little bit over the like yeah, you, know, you know what? 40 minutes, yeah, 40 minutes. I'll keep 40 minutes. I went a little overboard this time. Should know this town better than I, than I thought. I thought this place would be fine. I was confident that it would never be found, but I, as if they knew I was where I was hiding from the building. Mon came in and attacked me. I was just barely able to escape, but I couldn't save her. My wife was killed. She was torn apart, limb to from limb. They cut off her skin. Oh my god, which is gross, bro. And, and her flesh was everywhere. Oh god, bro. But I just ran away. I'm done for. There's no place to hide. No place to run in this city. Um... Is it true that your parents were cruel to you, but that doesn't mean you can kill all your adults? <laughs> Again, with that nonsense, after all this, we are aware, are well aware that we are clean innocent. Now, I get it, I get that your parents, that, that, that your parents treat you shit, but that does, that does not mean you can kill all the adults, bro. War. When you're burning the enemy's country to the ground, do you stop to spare the good people? Even if we had years, we would never achieve our dream with that benevolence. Ben I know this one's gonna be controversial, but this reminds me of the whole Russia Ukraine bullshit that's been happening recently. Like that ass, bro. But demon. You're a fake. You were born and raised here. You were treated as if we weren't in here. Wouldn't it be cruel twist of fate if we didn't fight back? Um, but for you to you don't just do it to them what they Don't do. mess with me. How do you think we should save some humans? Just stop no. it. Not like hey. that. Then you're telling me what should we have done? What was the right thing to do? What should we have done to earn the privilege of a normal happy Don't childhood? Don't mess with me! Oh, stop being such a dog. You could have relied on the police and the government. Don't mess with me! You're asking those who have had their lives destroyed by adults, plus other adults. <sighs> Ever since we five were born into a city, our destiny is decided. Don't stop us. For all the children in this town, we were built of an idle paradise. But wait, here's my concern I've been having for for the for the game, bro. The entire game so far. What if some of the ch what if the children had regular childhoods? What if they what if they didn't want to kill the adults? That's my thing. Say what if scenario. Like, they're not thinking, bruh. The Warriors Hope aren't thinking. Like, what if some of the kids don't want to kill the adults? What if they already have a happy childhood? Like, like what if? With 
all each other in this town, you're talking about all those brats in the helmet. Of course, not just us, but also the Monkun kids. All the it's children. far too suspicious. Yeah, all the kids in the town just have have murderous intent like you. But well, what if they didn't? What if? <laughs> Perhaps I've said too much. I've not out to say you. You can't stop us now. Pretty bold for a shrimpy little brat like you to talk big. I don't care how unfortunate your childhood was, would killing humans will never be okay. Those are facts, Toko. Like, no matter how terrible a, a person's childhood is, killing humans will never, would never be okay. Those are facts that Toko is saying right now. Demon. I don't expect the demon to understand. Like, bro. Did I do this place already? Did I do it already? Oh yeah, I did it already. Okay. This way. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. This is it. Don't you think that's a little too small for Kamaro to fit, Nagisa? You could have at least have a bigger a, a path beat that. You could have had at least the entrance to the staircase be a bit bigger, at least, so that Kamaro could could, could, could fit in it. It looks it looks too small. This for is her the to secret fit. passageway we prepared in case of emergency. Go through here, and you can get outside the town. She can't fit in fucking there, bro. What are you doing? Hurry up and leave. She can't fit. She can't fit, Nagisa, bro. Hey, what's the holdup? If you just go through here, you'll be outside of the city. Didn't you want to run away? Didn't you want to escape this town? Th that's right. That's what I've always wanted. At least that's what I thought. Toko, is it really okay for me to go? D do whatever you want. It has nothing to do with me. Not anymore. Oh my. Seems like I made it just in time. Bruh. Man, that was close. Truly a last minute save. For a person who has a woman's hand in place of his... of his original... You? Why are you here? Why am I here? To persuade her to stay, of course. So that our boring and common protagonist who has no distinct characteristics doesn't just quit. Huh? Komaru Naegi, though you are normal, not an ultimate, or even a part of Future Foundation, I really do think quite poorly of the idea that you would abandon your friend and run off alone. Are you really going to just run away like this? Is your conscience clear? Stop it! What are you saying? She's about to leave for good! That would be quite bothersome for me, you know? That is why I must convince her to stay. Huh? It would be disappointing if she did not see the game through to the end. How it was meant to be. Don't just go speaking your mind without permission. You're a servant. Listen to me. In order to see our paradise, this girl cannot stay here. So then I must ask, which is more important to the warriors of hope? Paradise or the game? What are you talking about? It's obviously the game, of course. Oh shit. What? You're a smart one. You must be at least vaguely aware. Otherwise, you wouldn't be sneaking about. You could have openly proposed a halt to these slayings to focus entirely on building paradise. 
And the reason you did not do exactly that, and are instead going behind their backs, is because you realize your favorite Miss Mage would choose the game over paradise. Do you know what you call someone who behaves like you're behaving? A traitor. Oh, shit. You're wrong. I care about them more than anyone. They all have high hopes for me. I mean, I am the leader. Nagisa. Isn't it best if you just calm down a little? You can leave the rest to me. Okay, I really think you should. Damn it! That's right. People who are not needed in this scene should go and make their exit. What are you talking about? I must admit, I am a little disappointed. When I heard that she was his little sister, I was intrigued. His? Makoto? Do you know him? Oh, now listen, shit. since I've planned the game out this far, I would like it to be completed. I was about to say, since when the hell did you know about Makoto? Like, for real, like... Because, you gotta remember, Ultra Spare Girls takes place before Danganronpa 2, so... Yeah. So my question is relevant to this game. Of course, perhaps I am being somewhat unfair to you, Komaru. Rather, the one who disappointed me was Toko. Oh shit. <gasps> now perhaps I am mistaken, but I believe we made a promise. You were to escort her to headquarters. Promise? Es escort? What are you talking about? Oh. I really think it should be Toko who answers that question. But if you continue to be silent, the story cannot progress. So I will speak. I made a deal with Toko. You son of a bitch! Like... What the fuck? Bro, like, what the fuck? Bastard, like... If she escorts you to the children's main base, I will release Byakuya Togami. Consider it exchanging hostages. The plan was to trade you and Byakuya. Son of a bitch. Nagito. I should beat the shit out of you, bro. What? What? And it was such a good about? deal, oh. too. Why Sorry did it have to come to this? Sorry for that. Sorry for skipping out, guys. It says, what are you talking about? That's basically... That's a lie, right? You're lying right now, aren't you? You're just making it up! Come on, Togo, speak up, like... Help, help us here, bruh. If you believe it to be a lie, think back on when you two first met. Oh yeah, when they were on the roof. <laughs> when you first arrived at the hospital on your parachute, did you know why Togo turned up there? She came to save you because she was told where you would be landing. How else could you possibly explain such a contrived encounter? The reason Toko has been your companion through all this was because of her deal with me. Lies! You're lying! I went through considerable trouble making sure you would complete this little game. Well... Returning the hacking gun you had lost, having the Monokuma kids deliver items, that was me. Oh boy. Consider it game balance, as they say. You've thought about it before, I'm sure. Why enemies conveniently drop items, why the path you must travel on to advance is always clear. The game began as a way for the children to have fun, but it was also a game to help you grow. And I am the one who made it that way. Wow. <laughs> this dude breaking the fourth wall. As always, bro. Not as always, but... But still, bro. Why me? Hmm? You mean, why was I so particular about choosing you? Well... That is all your brother's fault, of course.
The fuck? Kuro? He defeated Junko and Oshima, the That's one right. I truly hate. And I wasn't there to witness it. Maybe because you're busy on your remnants of despair bullshit. Because if you, if you haven't played Dragon Ball 2 yet, guys, you know that that the, the Dragon Ball 2 cast are members of the Remnants of Despair. Which took me by surprise, yeah, guys. Since, since, since I spent time with, with the Dragon Ball 2 cast up until that point in that game. Shit, like. So you're just, so you're just mad because you didn't get to witness Makoto defeating Junko, bro. That's why this time around, I wanted to see the action up close. And not only that, unlike him, an ultimate, you are a normal girl who can't do anything. That was particularly compelling. Her brother, a hero. The symbol of hope. The little sister. Utterly boring by comparison. If someone like you were to stand against despair, that would bring hope to the people. You bastard, bro. You're a fucking bastard. Oh, boy. Hope is exclusively found on the side of the weak, the losing side. People are touched by underdog stories. Slaying Goliath, the weaker team winning a game. The majority of society is made up of the weak and untalented. They are inspired by such tales. What are you saying? If my assumptions are correct, you will release a light even brighter than his. And in order for that to happen, I need you to participate in my game. What? Through the game, you will grow, defeat the final boss, and become the hope for this town. That's why it would be quite disappointing if you give up halfway through. Please, save this town from despair. Show me your dazzling light of hope to crush despair. Just like how he was in Dead Ramba 2, bro. You're fucking crazy, bro. Wh what do you mean? I'm... Hope? I, I don't understand what you mean at all. Ah, I see. So you still don't understand. I blame myself. I should have been more enthusiastic. But regardless, I truly do believe in you. No matter how big the despair, hope will always win in the end. That is why I feel no remorse becoming despair myself. You... you're just as crazy as those kids! You must be insane! Who cares about me? The more important thing is what you two are going to do now. I mean, now that Toko's lie has been uncovered. Toko, wow. please, just tell me the truth. What are you saying? It's a lie, right? Come on, like, you can't expect the stuff that this crazy mo this crazy motherfucking doggy cobra. That I'm gonna be traded for Biakia, and you've been lying this whole time. That's, that's gotta be a lie, right? Answer me, Toko! <laughs> Who would actually want to save someone like you? Of course it's not a lie! Oh my god, bro. Here you go again. Here you go again. Claiming that you are sacrificing tomorrow, bro. She did- You did this in chapter 2 as well. Girl, like, bro. What? All this time, I was protecting you and cheering you up. It was all for the sake of Master Byakuya. A person that, that doesn't like you, bro. That's right. I was deceiving you. And you just kept relying on me. Togo! Togo! Trusting me like an idiot. 
It's your fault. What the fuck did I do, bro? What the fuck did Kamaro do? Like, like what the fuck? Like, fuck. Like, Kamaro's been doing most of the work, bro. And you barely done shit. I believed in you. Hell, the shit that that the only shit you've been doing is doing certain stuff as just like Jack, bro. Well, you shouldn't have done that. Why would you believe in me? I have a split personality with a serial killer. I'm abnormal. All my life, nobody even tried to trust me. It's always been like that. That's why. I've never had a problem lying to people. But regardless, why do you believe in someone like me? Doku. From the very start, I hated you. Just being with you was insufferable. Like, bro. Like, you. Like, bro. Like. If you would have said something. Way earlier, like, all this could have been prevented, bro. You could have at least said something. Like, and how the hell, and how the hell you claim that tomorrow was insufferable? Like, what did she do to you? Like, for real. Lies. It's all lies. I'm not lying. It's the truth. I tricked you from the start. You were a fool not to realize it. You're just a stupid idiot who got set up by the coward Toko Fukawa. Simple as that. Ah, Toko. Don't you think that maybe your ranting isn't helping? If you put it like that, she will be even more motivated to leave you behind, will she not? If you want to stop her, You've got to try harder. Byakuya is important to you, right? Guess there's no other way. By force if I have to. Force? Bruh. Now I have to fight chance like Jack, bro. Kill! 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 Oh, I got no choice. I gotta start the slicing! Togo! If you don't get serious, I'm seriously gonna kill you! Stop it already, Toko! I won't let you escape, Kamaru Nayaki. It would be troublesome if you did not play your role. Kill! My hacking gun should be able to... If you don't get serious, I'm seriously gonna kill you! If you don't defeat me, you'll never be able to leave this town! If you don't defeat me, you'll never be able to leave this town! You dead already! To survive, you have to sacrifice something! Ooh, or the outside world, it's all the same. Oh my god, bro. I'm about to paralyze, bro. If you don't get serious, I'm seriously gonna kill you! Yes, it works on the sun gun! If you don't defeat me, you'll never be able to leave this town. Now what are you gonna do? Bit. Right. If you don't defeat me, oh, you'll never be able like to leave this town. Break you what are you doing? Stop! Bit. If 
you don't defeat me, you'll never be able to leave this town. Come on. Come on, Jack by Jack. Let's Stop. go. Beat your ass. If you don't defeat me, you'll never be able to leave Damn. this town. I know there's a lot of fan stars in this one, but shit. Damn it! You disappoint me. Hey! If you don't get serious, I'm seriously gonna kill you! Stop it already, Togo! No! I won't let you escape, Kamaru Nayaki. It would be troublesome if you did not play your role. Yes! It works on the stun gun! If you don't defeat me, you'll never be able to leave this town! See? Now what are you gonna do? What are you doing? Stop! Hey. I'm about to rain the battery, bro. You done already? world it's all the same if you don't defeat me stop her I got stop her I got stop her Even with I, I gotta bring some sense tomorrow her, should be easily outmatched by Togo. I gotta bring some sense to this bitch. You done already? No. Alright! Ha ha ha! Ah, she lost consciousness. I just had to make sure that she runs out of batteries, basically. Huh. Get that. At least we got that Camaro fan service, at least. Lost consciousness. That means I must have lost. Yeah, you lost to tomorrow. If that's the case, I can't stop you now. Hurry up and run. What are you doing? If you don't hurry, next time I really will take you by force. You did it on purpose, didn't you? You lost on purpose. Huh? You lost on purpose so you can let me go. Right? Saying cruel things to me and attacking me without warning. It was an act, wasn't it? So that I wouldn't hesitate to leave you here. Uh. What are you talking about? Why would you think that? Don't treat me like an idiot. I already know you're much stronger than I am. For real. <laughs> like, all that Nagito is doing was trying to fuel your ass up, bro. We've been together all this time. Go. Why? If things stayed the same, you never would have made a move, would you? You always made me decide. You didn't do anything on your own. So you wanted to give me a chance? I was with you all this time, you know? I... I know you well, too. And also, listening to this crazy idiot's orders just makes my skin crawl. Hope. <laughs> it sounds disgusting when you say it. Well, that is completely understandable. But are you really okay with this? If Miss Komaru runs away, the safety of the hostage cannot be guaranteed. Well, personally... It's for the sake of the game. Byakuya Togami is important to you, is he not? Mm -hmm. Then allow me to lend a hand. See, you'll still make it if you go now. Oh my god. <laughs> like... 
I'm gonna be honest, sounds like that gets pretty funny, bro. Please! Please stop! <laughs> oh, shit. She sliced him on the fucking knees, bro. Shut the hell up, you lanky, wavy-haired bastard! Ah, all right. Even though you two share knowledge, you don't share memories, correct? Well, above the knees, but still, bro. You have no idea who the real enemy is. An honest mistake, I said. Idiot! It's no mistake. What I share with her isn't just knowledge. She and I also share. Emotions. If we did it, there's no way we'd both love Master. Oh. And my emotions are telling me this. To kill you and let Dekomaru escape. And you're something of a pretty boy yourself. So I can kill you as I love. No regrets. Ah, I see. So you've decided to stop taking advantage of Komaru Naegi. Is that friendship? To travel the harsher path for the sake of protecting your friend. Such beautiful friendship. I truly think it's a splendid thing. But aren't you a serial killer? You're an aberrant who has no problem taking lives to satiate your own lusts. For someone like that to say things like friendship or friends, do you not find it strange? Or even shameful. <laughs> I can't breathe! Friendship! Friends! <laughs> Obviously, friggin' not. How you calling my friend? No! You're my friend! <sighs> what are you doing? Probably wasting your time. I mean, after all, she knows she needs to kill me. Byakuya's life is in danger as long as I am alive. If she breaks the promise we made and lets you escape... I'll stay. If that's how it is. If I stay in the city and go with her... Then it's fine, right? That's <gasps> hey! Do you know what the hell you're talking about? You were crying and whining about escaping earlier, remember? You know what? You change your mind? I still want to escape! I'm still scared! Even now, but you feel the same way, don't you? You were scared too, but you tried to help me escape. And hid how afraid you really were inside, didn't you? There's no way I can run now, leaving you behind! As expected. You just don't get it. I betrayed you. I betrayed you, you know? No, no you didn't. And you're suffering from guilt, aren't you? If you're hurting, you can tell me. I'm an unreliable, normal girl who can't do anything. But... I can at least do normal things, right? And it's normal for a friend to help a friend. I'll stay. No matter how much you say no, I will definitely stay with you, all right? I've decided. So annoying. All that lip service talk that I hate, so damn irritating. 
anybody can just say something. In that case, I'm a great detective, an astronaut, a reporter, and a Terra super beauty. <sighs> and besides, you have absolutely no idea what I'm really like. What do you mean? There's no way I'd say no. Huh? Rather... <sighs> Thanks. Taco! <sighs> uh. <laughs> oh. So, um, about what just happened... It, it's alright. I kinda figured out what was happening. Huh? Really? Friend? <laughs> the last time I was called that was in a dream I had in grade school. It's pretty depressing. <laughs> well, you're actually one of many friends that I have, so you don't have to take it that seriously. You bring that up now? Let me have this moment a bit longer, jeez! Well, guess it turned out so right. not funny! Oh my god. <laughs> If Komaru Naegi had run away, the hope of this city would have gone with her. To prevent that, a wound like this will not diminish my resolve. Though it does hurt. It's time you started talking. How do we release Master Byakuya? All you have to do is defeat the final boss. You saved the princess after defeating the final boss, right? In theory. In theory? I was not the only one who came up with the plan to take you to the children's base. I have a partner, but I'm not sure what they are planning, to be honest. Who is that? There's no way I would tell you that. I have already been disqualified from the game. But it'll be alright. No matter what kind of despair awaits you, hope will overcome it. The deeper and darker the despair, the brighter and more powerful the hope born from it. Yeah, you're crazy, all right. You are seriously disgusting. You're like three steps below vomit in a toilet. Anyway, all you need to do is progress forward. I will support you until the very end. So in order to get back Byakuya, we need to stop the children's rioting, right? Then... I'll do it. There's no other choice. Right, Toko? But... are you sure you can do this? There's no way I can accept leaving you behind. Thanks to you, I've come this far. That's well. <laughs> and not just that. Maybe I'm not really attached to this town, but I will save my friend. Kamaru. Oh, and one more thing. I have a little hint for you. What is it, Nagito? The building the children are using as a headquarters is called Toa Hills. Marching in there with just the two of you would be a bit... suicidal. Monokumas have dug in all around Toa Hills. Even you two would have trouble with that many. Then what do we need to do? Well, we could ask for help. From Shirakuma and Haichi. Haichi could go fuck himself, bro. Like, he is a terrible, terrible human being. Shirakuma, okay. I, I understand you there, but... Fuck no when it comes to Haichi, bro. Fuck no. Their help? They want to stop the children as much as we do. Shirakuma said it too. If we work together, everyone can be saved. And everyone's happy, right? What? Where did that come from? Now's not the time for heroics. But I think you and I can do it. It's going to be all right. Ah, such splendid growth. Your world has gradually grown wider, as expected of his little sister. My judgment was indeed correct. Ah, that reminds me. The Resistance base is in the sewers underground, correct? In that case, there should be an entrance to the subway if you go through the business district. As I recall, there was a blue building. 
If you move through there, you'll reach the base. You're sending us on a pretty specific path. Is this also part of your scheme? I would prefer that you think of it as support. It is information that will help you. Well, it doesn't matter what you're scheming. Master and Kamaru, I'll protect them both, even if it takes my life. Do your best. Defeat despair. That's it. Just a little longer, just a little longer, and that light of hope will swallow the despair of this place. <laughs> I always know Nagito being a crazy ass motherfucker. Oh shit. <laughs> so upset over something like this. You really are a child. Oh shit, he about to beat the shit. Nagisa is about to beat the shit out of Nagisa, bro. Ah, ah. Come on. Wow. Thank you. Huh? Saying it so plainly like that. It's actually kind of refreshing. Yeah, for me too. I. Never really thanked anyone before. Okay, that sounds like a problem. All right. Basically, just damn, just like with the last episode, it went over forty minutes, bro. Like how I was planning to do it. So, no, I I was planning to do forty minutes time limit, but huh, these two episodes, like, got these past few episodes has been like. 40 plus minutes, bro. Like, I'm just hoping for for to make a video that's less than 40 minutes, bro. I hope. So, see you guys next time. Rush TV, sign off.